pretty direct, very well organised. Um, I would expect them to approach the game as the other three have against us um, in terms of defending a bit deeper and trying to deny all the space for us, which makes it difficult. So I'm expecting it to be difficult in, in that respect in terms of spaces to open them up. Um, probably Allo have been the team who's been the most expansive and, and played with the ball. Um, Elgin haven't shown that they're that type of team. You know, they've shown other threats. They've dropped on second balls really, really quickly and, and scored a couple of goals from that when they've been direct. So we know we have to deal with that. I think said last week that the transfer business has done. You're quite happy with the squad. Is that still the case? There's been no movement. Yeah, we've been happy. Yeah. Every signing we, we've got, we've been delighted with. So, yeah, we've got competition all over. As I said, we've got you know, virtually two in every position now who are competing to play. Um, love to be a, in a position where you could pick any eleven. We could change the team during the season, during a game. A great example of that was probably the other night. Even though we sort of pre-planned what we're doing in terms of subs, we um, we brought on some great pace and energy. And when we took off as wide players, we put Ollie on one side, Darrell on the other. We want that. Then all of a sudden the game springs back into life again. So we put pace on, brought young Fraser on, and changed the shape which was great, it allowed us to do that, so that's what we're after, you know. During the season we may get a real good 60, 70 minutes out of some players and then need a real good 30 or 20 out of three from the bench and that's what we're after. I know um, you sort of pitted any claims about Ollie Shaw, but do you, do you feel with yourself, the type of manager you are, that you put pressure on yourself to, to give these young guys opportunities, obviously to raise money coming in during the week and, and getting a goal? No, they're getting, I've said before, they're getting on merit, you know what I mean? Uh, um, it's been funny, so through my time, obviously working with younger players was what I did, and then getting in the, the job at Barnsley, we brought a lot of young players through, and you sort of get a tag, if you like, of being able to develop young players and bring them through. Um, and you take it, you take the pat on the back, but I, think I had no other option, you know, we couldn't go out and buy any other players, so it was good for me in that respect, in terms of... Um, being able to do it and knowing what to look for in players who can go on and progress but I had no other option um, at Leeds it was different but also at Leeds I ended up leaving players out and senior players who just because they were on more money or had a bigger reputation I put younger players in on a couple hundred pounds a week because they were better players so in that respect it's reassuring for me to know that yeah that is probably what I do um, and I enjoy doing that and at the end of the day, if we keep finding younger, cheaper players, it frees up more money to go and spend more money. So it's a big part of any successful team, I think. You hear quite a lot, you know, looking at Lampard going to Chelsea, that especially managers at the top teams down south, that they always want to bring in young players, but they don't have that time to do that. Um, I know that I don't know what you're Yeah, I think your stats has been a paper. Year. There's been stats where it's the exact opposite, really. Um, when it's shown that managers have. Played young players at times under pressure or start seasons when traditionally it's the end of the season. And the stats to show that traditionally when young players get opportunities at the end of the season, you know, if there's nothing to play for on things, they're the least successful young players who break into teams, the ones that get in start seasons have better careers. So there's lots of stats like that, but for me it's just a dead simple one. If they're good enough, they get in, they get in the starting 11. If they're not quite good enough, but you know they can get there, you work with them and you, you create a pathway for them to get there and, and put no blockages in the way. And then you, you can be sure that if they don't make it, you've done everything you can. And, and it might be a negative judgment you make on that player. You go on the board, you're going to someone saying, he's not going to be good and he's not going to play for you. Let's get a pathway and get value in him somewhere else. You can say that with confidence because you've, you've created a pathway for them to get in and they're not able to take it. Is that pathway, do you think it's been as similar in Scotland as it is in England? Have you noticed sort of any differences in the, in the pressures or, or the way that the young players can, can develop? In club, I can only speak for us, and we've got, as I say, we've, we want it to be part of what we do. Um, we've got a lot of senior players who came through here. We've now got four younger players, if you like, in the first team squad Ryan Porteous, Ollie, Fraser, Sean Mackey. Um, we use a couple more and young Josh I mean Ben and Josh and Josh got his and, and Josh Doig as well and Josh Campbell's had his first League Cup game so as I said there's opportunities here and we'll not carry massive numbers so there might be some natural opportunities injuries, suspensions 
if the, if I think the player's good enough beneath, they'll go in rather than swapping and playing senior players out of position. We think we've got a player beneath, we'll put them in.